good afternoon and welcome to Seattle, Washington to Memorial Stadium, the site of tonight's big time National Women's Soccer League clash between the visiting Portland Thorns FC and the hosts Seattle Rain FC. And that's gonna be one of the big things for the rain on the, the flip side. Played up to the near side. Here's Beverly Goble who leaves it for Sydney LaRue. Streaking toward the byline. It's in the back of the net. Oh, what a shocker for Portland. What a hard angle shot and what a goal for Sydney LaRue in the third minute. That is, that is a great looping run by Sydney LaRue to get outside on the flank. She was just trying to work that ball across the face of the goal. Don't know whether it was a shot, don't know whether it was a cross. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Here she goes around the outside, swings it in with her left foot, and Anger gives up that near post. You never want to do that as a goalkeeper. The most famous view of all from behind the goal. What happened to Nadine Anger on that shot? No one will ever know, but it's a one to nil lead for the home side. It's three shootout against Boston with a one one draw against Washington. As that ball's forward. It's going to be a dangerous opportunity for Alex Morgan. Hope Solo spills it. The follow up effort. Very fortunate for the rain there. Kendall Fletcher, up, ball forward, trying to pick out Naho. Takes it right off the feet of a Thorns defender. Has it at the top of the 18, shot just over the corner post of the Thorns goal. What a piece of skill from Naho. That's absolutely right. I mean, the, the Thorns thought that they had uh, no problem. They'd cut that ball over the top, and Naho just slips underneath her, picks the ball up off of her foot, brings the ball onto her left foot, and she looks to go uh, go high on Nadine Anger, but can't quite find the back of the net. Picking out Christine Sinclair from the edge of the 18, for the far side of the 18. That's great recovery by the rain. Alex Morgan tried to flick it into danger. Doing a nice little give and go. Advantage played as Gobo is fouled. Here's a little inside the 18, toward the top of the six. Forrest with her back to goal now. Tries to spin away and feed a ball across. Slide tackle by LaRue. The follow-up shot by Naho. The header by LaRue off the line. <laughs> Nothing doing. A and Naho. A golden chance for the rain. Back heel by LaRue to try to pick out Goble. Slide tackles to keep it in to LaRue. Toward the top of the six. Tries to get away from Ongaru. Ongaru, did she get the ball or did she get the player? The ball says the center official. Bev Goble plays a great ball to Jess Fishlock through the legs of Ongerer. Head over the byline for a corner. Well, the Thorns would have been hearing about that for, for a while. Hawks right there to take the throw, to intercept the throw and up to Kim Little. She's got a couple numbers running with her. Diagonal run being made. She decides to go far post. No! In the back of the net. Rain lead, two goals to nil. Kim Little is flat out torturing the Thorns right now. She collects the ball underneath and then just flies past the Thorns back line. Serves a perfect left footed ball to Kawasumi. Again, completely unmarked at the back post. Here she is, floats it in, sees up Naho's run, just drops a teardrop assist, and Naho buries it in the upper corner. We just talk about how she's defending on several occasions. Hoffman losing out to Cox and Winters is going to have to help clear. Good job by Hoffman to win the ball back. Here's Alex Morgan near the top of the 18. You know she's dangerous here. Scored three times from about this exact position. Gets a shot off. And there was Hope Solo to make the save. And if she's going to get the ball in that position and take a shot. League lead in goal replaces Rachel Van Hollebeck, the defender, as the corner is very dangerous. Back to goal. It's still inside the mixer. Getting a foot to it was Nikki Marshall at the last. And her flag now. She's going to leave it. Looks like the rain are gonna enjoy the short option. Here's Veronica Bocchetti. Has it on her left foot now, has a crack at goal. Whizzes right over the upper 90 for a goal kick. And man, that was close. And again, that's where she's so dangerous. If she can get the ball near the top of the box, she can weave it back and forth. For this now with, with Thorns playing three at the back. Sydney LaRue isolated. Square ball, picking out Kim Little. Switching it once more. Oh my word! I say Naho with the screamer off the brilliant cross. 3-0 to the rain. 
And that is just great composure. Sidney LaRue drifts across, allows Kim Little to get forward. Kim Little squares the ball up, and now again, drifting in on the backside, brings the ball down with just Nahir to excuse me, Nahir, with just Angerer to beat. She buries it far side. Angerer had no chance whatsoever. Naho Kawasumi on the short list for player of this match. What a screamer she ripped. Just managed to get into space inside that 18. It was, pardon me, Portland out shooting the rain. I shouldn't say that's surprising. The Thorns take a lot of shots. They lead the league in virtually every shooting category. There's a bad giveaway for Naho Kawasumi. Turns has a crack from the top of the 18. Good piece of skill to get open and get a shot off. Here's Little turning in her own right, streaking forward. Very, very good job by Emily Menges to get the boot in. Ball swinging toward the far post header in the back of the net. Welcome to this game, Megan Rapino. 4 0 to the rain. Naho Kawasumi on the receiving end of two balls like that already in the game. Turns provider, Megan Rapino drifting onto the back post. Very similar, and then completely unmarked at the back post. Heads it in, bulges the back of the net. There's the Nawasumi cross, just brilliant. Rapino giving way too much space. A fantastic flick toward goal. For the Thorns, you just never like to see an outside back backpedaling on a ball like that. You know it's overhead. Rapino gets a chance to, to step forward and hit it with authority. There's enough power on it. She can get on her to try to force whatever advantage she can get. There's it. Allie Long over to the near side to pick out Sinclair. Gets it on a right foot save. What a wonderful left handed save by Hope Solo. Perhaps hard is that to get in the game on a moment's notice as corner is headed toward goal. Oh, on the turn, skied over the crossbar by Amber Brooks to finish that thought. How hard is that? Oh, you know, it took a deflection. Pardon me. That explodes. Upon the save every. Ali Long's ball in toward the far post. Ahead got on that by Jessica McDonald over the crossbar. Not a bad look by McDonald on this occasion. Can Deflected see shot on goal and uh, see that the thorn. Right. That's a dangerous ball played toward Alex Morgan. She goes to the turf. to Jessica McDonald. Here's Alex Morgan, ball on the left foot, shot far post, whistles wide. Didn't miss by too much. Well, that's what quarter of an hour still to play. The out swinger, off the upper corner. That could have been a start. But she knew too much about where it was going. Here you see her getting up and driving it back across, and it rattles the post. I think it moved the post back a couple of inches. Yeah, hard. All across the, the plane of the goal. It's almost like there's a sheet of glass in front of it. If the score holds, it will be the largest margin of victory for any team in this rivalry. Said back, headed over the crossbar, and that was another fantastic chance, this time for Nikki Marshall. Well, I mean, you would have put your money on that ball going in the back of the net. Absolutely. And, yeah, the the uh, just sort of a deceptive ball in goes, gets past Nahomi Kawasumi. It's bouncing around in front of the, and just cannot get her head over the top of the ball and driving it down onto the at this point. They're going to need her in the next three games. Steph Cox picking out Dahlstrom. Here's Fishlock having a crack because she had time and space. Whistles it wide. And it gives a chance to give uh, Hannah Terry some real competition. A real touch from Fishlock to Dahlstrom. The rain, however, not shy about taking advantage of uh, the Thorns being a man down. Hunger. She's played almost an entire half again and is uh, continuing to look healthy. Here's Little. Back to goal now. She's going to turn left this time in the back of the net, adding insult to injury, salt in the wound, etc. 5 0 to the rain, and Kim Little now on top of the National Women's Soccer League. Well, the entire rain team and the thorn team were all flowing out to the, the rain's right to the thorn's left flank. Everybody knew that's where she was going because she had multiple runners. So what does Kim Little do? Of course, she spins out to the left. Nadine Unger completely wrong footed and she fires it home at the near post. Quite an impressive display from Seattle Rain FC capped off by the league leading scorer, 
touchdowns, and there it is. Seattle Rain FC take down Portland Thorns FC. Five goals to nil. Sidney LaRue with the goal. Kim Little with the goal. Naho Kawasumi, your player of the match, with two goals and assist. Megan Rapino with the goal. And just quick final thoughts, David Warden. Well, I mean, just a, a tremendous display by the rain. Just unbelievable. You know, they, they knew they, uh, they wanted to make a statement in this game, and boy, did they ever make one. Goals coming from all over the place. Thorns felt like they could get back in this game early on in the second half, and, and the rain just never took their foot off the gas. Well, that's it here from the Moda Health pitch at Memorial Stadium in Seattle, Washington. The home side shocks the entire legged roadside. Seattle Rain FC brings home the five goal win over Portland Thorns FC. On behalf of David Borton, everyone here from Bootstrapper Studios and the rest of the Seattle Rain FC team, I'm Landon Brooker. Thank you for joining us here on this splendid afternoon in the Northwest. And we'll see you again on Wednesday.